Now let's move to the next session where we would like to introduce Osaka University from different perspectives, from faculty members, former international students, and current international students. If you have any questions or comments during their talks, please feel free to send them to the Q&A box. We will try to answer the questions both during the, uh, in the Q&A box, also at the end of the event. Due to the time limit, please understand that we might not be able to answer all the questions. Thank you for your understanding. So without further ado, let's move to Osaka University's introduction. First, I would like to invite Dr. Xi Xi Dang, Dr. Clement Anka Wijaya, Dr. Ming Li to introduce Osaka University. Please go ahead, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Uh, hi everyone, this is Sisi from the Center for uh, Global Initiatives, Osaka University. Nice to see you online. Uh, now let me start our introduction to Osaka University. Okay, Osaka is located in the Western Japan, it neighbors Kyoto, Nara, and Kobe, and it is the second biggest metropolitan city in Japan uh, with a population of over 8 million. And I'm sure there are something that you don't know about Osaka. Uh, Osaka has been ranked as the second most livable city in the world by the journal EIU, based on categories like stability, healthcare, culture, environment, education, and infrastructure. And also, I think some of us knows like um, Universal, Universal, Universal Studio Japan, we call it also like USJ, is located in the Osaka, is one of the six um, Universal Studio theme parks in the world. And um, Osaka City, you know, it's, it's a city full of passion. Uh, it's called the Kitchen of Japan. Uh, I'm sure most of you don't know that Ninsen noodles were born from Osaka City here in Ikeda City, just near of Toyonaka campus. So we have very interesting uh, instant noodle museum where you can make your own instant noodles. And the last picture you can see on the screen is Osaka Monorail. It's a monorail in northern Osaka uh, prefecture. Uh, it's links of three campuses and makes it very convenient to access. Okay, let's take a short introduction of our case history. Uh, the roots of Osaka University can go back to uh, two Edo area schools in Osaka. It calls it like uh, Kaitokudo and Tekijuku. And in 1931, Osaka Imperial University was established. And in 1949, uh, Osaka University uh, changed into, uh, we changed the name into Osaka University, which remains it until now. In 2007, um, Osaka University of Foreign St Studies merged with Osaka University, which made us to be one of the national universities in a country with a school of foreign lang language studies with major in 25 languages, including Japanese. And now we just celebrate our 90th anniversary last year. Okay, uh, here you can see we have three campuses. It's in the uh, northern part of Osaka, as you can see here on the map. Uh, they are very close to each other. Um, and easily accessible using public transportation as well as our free shuttle buses. Here, uh, let me show you some facts and pictures of Osaka University. As one of the best uh, comprehensive research universities in Japan, we provide the world's most advanced education and research opportunities. Here you can see not only undergraduate and graduate schools, uh, there are also uh, universe, university hospitals, libraries, research institutes, centers, and facilities. And uh, OU, since OU is a large scale national university, then we have more than uh, 18,000 18, undergraduate students and more than 8,000 graduate students. And also, uh, we, there are around 2,600 international students here, um, and most of them are come from Asian countries. We have 11 undergraduate schools and 15 graduate schools. Here you can see uh, this includes social science, humanities, law, economics, medical school, dental school, engineering, natural sciences, and so on. Now, let me invite Dr. Clement to introduce our overseas centers and programs. Thank you, um, Dr. Zhang. Um, so let me start by um, sharing with you four of our um, forces centers in the Netherlands, in Thailand, 
in China and also in the USA. So these centers work to promote and manage um, collaborative projects in education and research um, with our partner universities. Now, um, Osaka University students study mostly in Japanese because we are a Japanese university. However, um, international students have the opportunities to study in English. Now, for the undergraduate and degree level, we have two programs in English. The first one is the Human Sciences International Undergraduate Program, or HUS in short. One of the students in this program will actually share her experience studying here. Um, this is an entirely um, English program, so you will learn in English from start to the end. The second one is International Undergraduate Program in Science, or IUPS. Now, this is a hybrid program in which students learn in English the first one and a half years and then later years in Japanese. For the graduate level, um, we have more programs here. We have about, I think we have 13 in, in programs in total that's spanning in the fields of um, um, science, engineering, and also economics. Now let me um, share you if you're um, trying to enter our Osaka University as an undergraduate program. Now international students here are um, classified into two types, okay? So you are either a Japanese government sponsored program, uh, student or you're a recipient of the MEX scholarship. I mean, in this case, you have to apply for the scholarship through the embassy in your country or region. And if you're accepted by the embassy, then you will um, come to Osaka or to Tokyo, depends on where you are located. And you have to take um, preparatory um, study in Japanese language. After that, you can take the entrance exam to the school and then you can get enrolled as a regular um, program with the Japanese students. If you are not funded by the MEX scholarship, you are a privately funded international student. So these are students uh, funded by their own money, their family money, or by scholarships other than the Japanese government scholarship. Now for these students, um, you have more options, of course. You can, um, so there are four here. The first one is the normal way to enter um, through um, application online, oh, sorry, offline. And also you have to uh, take the EJU test, okay? So, and you also have to be in Osaka to, to take the entrance exam. The second one is um, quite a new one and it is uh, entirely online. So this is a reserve only for international students who live overseas. And the third and the fourth ones are for the degree program in English or the hybrid programs that we will explain in the next slide. Okay, so as mentioned before, we have two programs. The first one is the Human Science International Undergraduate Program, which is a social science program. And there are three um, streams of specialization here. And it starts in, um, in fall, okay? Um, there are some requirements here. And for more details, you can actually visit the website. The second one is the IUPS or the science program and students um, either will be placed in the Department of Mathematics or Physics or Chemistry. Uh, as I mentioned before, we have more programs in, in, in the graduate level, masters and PhD, and there are 13 programs in total. I'm not going to go into depth to, to, to in, into each of one, but of, of the program, but you can go and visit the, the website for more details. Right, so I think that's all from me. And the next session will be by Dr. Lee. Please go ahead. Thank you, Dr. Kerman. I'm Mindy. Uh, so about the graduate education uh, admissions, I would like to introduce these steps. So first, uh, research plan. So you first need to decide on your research topic. At the same time, uh, collect the, the information of your research field, then write uh, the research plan. So the second, uh, for you need to find a supervisor. So um, you can find the information from each uh, graduate school or lab website, or Osaka University has a research church database, so you can find this uh, professor information from this place. And if you are not, uh, don't know how to contact a supervisor or you don't hear from the supervisor, we have an admission assistant desk. It hap uh, will help you to contact with a professors. So um, first you need the document, prepare the document, then uh, upload to the admission assistant desk for the online application. So uh, after one, two, three weeks, uh, you will get the reply from the professors. If 
professor would like to talk with you directly, you can email to the professor and discuss the detail later. Then uh, most uh, students will choose to be a research uh, student. It's not for degree. So students can prepare for the studying uh, at the master or for the master or PhD program and also prepare for the entrance uh, examination. Uh, so the next is uh, for the uh, uh, screen. So you need some documents, also uh, the writing, uh, written exam and also uh, interviews, uh, but it depends on the graduate schools. So, and uh, our uh, master or PhD programs, is, uh, admission time is uh, April or October. So next I will give back to Dr. Kremen. Okay, thank you, Dr. Lee. So uh, next I will share with you some of the exchange, prog exchange programs that we have. So these are reserved for uh, students of our partner universities, okay? Now we have exchange programs in science and engineering, which is also medical, um, Frontier Lab. Um, Maple, which is for Japanese language, also have the standard um, exchange program for uh, third and fourth year of undergraduate students. And iExpo, which is also a Japanese language exchange program. We also have the Japanese short stay in session program, the JSHIP, in which um, students, not from our partner universities can take this um, uh, program to learn Japanese for the short term in summer or in winter. Now, um, for the tuition fee, we are, um, it's, it's quite flat for all of the national universities in Japan. So the, the, the fee is about 535,000 yen a year. So this is quite um, reasonable uh, when you compare it with um, universities in the Western countries. Oh, let me um, go back here. So this is basically the same if you're, whether you're an undergraduate or a graduate program, uh, student, okay? Now for cost of living um, per month, this is um, relatively uh, not so cheap, but it's quite still quite reasonable, I think. So Osaka, you need to spend about 90, 95,000 yen uh, a month to live, including um, housing and also um, commuting and food and et cetera. It's a bit uh, cheaper than Tokyo. Now we offer a number of um, financial aids, um, scholarships, or you can either, like I mentioned before, you're, you, if you're funded by the Japanese government and you're a max scholarship student, or you can also get a scholarship from our schools and also from other sources. We also offer tuition fee waiver for international students, and you can apply this after you're enrolled. Next. Okay, now let me go on with our support for students. Um, international students usually live in their dorm in the first year, and we have office on campus that help you uh, with, your, with finding other apartment. Uh, there are a number of dormitories near campuses, and two of them are brand new, called uh, Osaka University Global Villages, offering new housing facilities with an enjoyable international living environment. Um, here you can see on the slide of a global villages equipped with furniture and appliances. You can move into the dorm the day, the, the, the same day you arrive in Japan with just one suitcase. Uh, it's a very convenient place. And um, here are some photos taken by ourselves. You can see it's quite a beautiful place. Okay, and um, we have three student centers. Uh, one on each campus. Here, students can receive all kinds of uh, support to adjust to student life. And we also have a support office for international students and scholars. scholars. You can check out, uh, check out uh, various activities and supports from here, including guides for, uh, for new incoming students and students with families and so on. For more uh, information, please visit our, our website. And you can also find us on Facebook, um, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Should you have any other questions, please feel free to contact us with this uh, email address. Okay, that's from us, all your introduction. Thank you very much.